On the day of her birthday, Miss Emily Letta made a list of the ways she could make her life better. She was now 13, and one way or another, she'd avoid all teen angst by killing her mother. Secure in the strength of a newfound decision, Em needed a plan so she'd not go to prison. A bottle marked poison sat high on the shelf, and Emily chuckled in spite of herself. She poured quite a bit in a large cup of tea, and served it to mother with unbridled glee. Mum took a large swig as young Em left the room, but then nothing happened. Em started to fume. She'd not be deterred by a setback so minor, she ground up some glass into soup from the diner. But Mum wasn't hungry, she'd filled up on pears, so Emily tied up some string on the stairs. Her mother lay quietly soaking her skin, Em snuck through the doorway intent on a win. The radio sat on the sink near the tub, the cord would not reach both her mum and the plug. Emily crept to the bed of her mother, clutching a pillow she could use to smother. Mum rolled away, young Emily missed. She lay in the bed, but boy was she pissed. With a flick of her wrist, Em turned on the gas and whispered to mother, Hey mum, have a blast! But mummy had not paid her bills for a while. The gas wasn't working, and Em lost her smile. Eureka, thought Emily. Her mummy could drown, and begged to go visit the pool across town. But mum wouldn't budge, although Emily begged. She would not go swimming with such hairy legs. I'll push mummy dearest in front of a car, but physics would not move that bottom so far. She'd not be defeated, whatever it takes. So Em got a knife and then sliced up the brakes. Now, Em is a smart girl who knows quite a lot. However, on brake lines, she wasn't that hot. Who knows what she cut, but the car ran just fine. But Emily wasn't the type who would whine. She tried shooting and stabbing and starting a fire. But Emily's mother refused to expire. Poor little Emily sobbed with despair. Why wouldn't mum die? It just wasn't fair. So Emily gave up. Failure wears down a kid. She grabbed her chalk bucket and opened the lid. She drew a design on the sidewalk out front. At least now she could take a break from that. She felt peace wash over her mind as she played. Her desire to murder then started to fade. Unlike killing, she won many medals for track. And she leapt and she landed on top of a crack. The moral, my children, at first may seem muddled, as next to her mum's corpse young Emily huddled. But persistence pays off if you give it a whack, cause you can never tell who might just have your back. You're welcome.